Okay, so um, this printer, this is a Samsung printer, uh, but this is uh, true for uh, several other models. Uh, well, the issue with this printer, I like it a lot. It's really fast and nice and not expensive. The issue with this, it's, uh, it will develop uh, pretty quickly, like uh, it will bend the page, the end of the page will be bent. This one uh, is not, but I'll show you this way. It will pretty much look like this. Uh, it's mostly the bottom of the page. And I found out the uh, one solution to this is to open the top of the printer. Open this. This is the cartridge. Uh, most people will recommend you replace the... Uh, is not the... Uh, no, that's the cartridge. This is the roller here. So most people will recommend opening the printer and replacing, replacing the whole uh, roller unit. Uh, well, I found out that's not needed. So I had the issue before and as you, as you can see, uh, I bent my page but it was really like nice, having nice shape like normal, no uh, no any curvature at all. That's because I fix it in a much easier way than just uh, replacing the whole uh, roller. So this is how it goes. You just get, I got a uh, kind of Q-tip stick and I'm using a little bit of uh, grease. This is bearing grease. I would like to use uh, like a thicker grease, not very um, liquid one, so it's more thick. I'll show you where to put this. So just remove this little cover on the top of the roller. Uh, hopefully it's gonna stay by itself. Okay. Now don't touch on on any of those two parts, either with your finger or even worse with grease. Do not put any kind of grease and don't touch on them because uh, they are very hot. And if you put grease on them, probably you're gonna mess up your uh, printer forever. So that's the fix I'm showing you. As you can see on the extremity of the rollers, there's like, you can barely see it, but it's like kind of a bearing. So I believe the reason the page is bending like this, it's because after a while the roller is missing some grease on a bearing here and it's getting more friction and so it's uh, it's uh, affecting the page like that, the shape of the page. So I'm just putting a little bit of grease. Hopefully you can see it's already a bit of grease in there. It's just at the end of the roller. It's the metal part. So don't touch the roller part with grease, just the end of it. Put a dab of grease there. A little bit, not too much. Don't need to exaggerate. Or maybe may get on the roller so again don't touch on any of those rollers with grease on your finger and do the same sorry for the camera do exactly the same on the other end so go easy go slowly careful don't touch on the printing faces of the roller oh, so this is the grease goes only on the bottom roller but the top one doesn't have to and just put some kind of little bit of grease there carefully travel with the stick so don't touch anything else there you go this is the whole fix it's really easy you don't have to remove anything else use some grease once in a while I'd say maybe it depends on how many pages I'm printing maybe once a month or maybe even uh, less often than that but just you may want to to apply grease once in a while and that's it try it see if it works for you and hopefully this is uh, is gonna save you quite a bit of money and uh, time replacing parts wish you good luck